All right, welcome to Visionaires 12 Days of Christmas Piano Songs, and uh, we're going to do Silent Night this time. Now, if you'll look, it's in the key of B flat. So we have B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat uh, for all the notes that we're doing. It's also in 6 8. So, how do you perform 6 8? Well, um, to kind of give you a real quick 6 8. Uh, lesson um, we have six eighth notes per measure each one gets a count so um, if you look at the left hand here the quarter note gets two counts the eighth note gets one and the dotted quarter note gets three so one two three 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 or you can go one two three four five six um, all the way through um, now how do you do the dotted eighth sixteenth one two and three one two three one two and three one two three so our first measure is B flats B flat octave in the left hand and a D F and an E flat G in the right hand one two and three one two three one two and three one two three one two and three one two three one two and three four five six now um that's how to play the first two measures and remember you can get this music at visionaires.org there's a link in the description one two and three four five six one two and three like that. Um, so the third measure we have F and A, E flat and C. And we pretty much have the same thing except I take my C and I put it down here and uh, keep my E flat and A. Or actually add an A. not too bad if you know the chords. So what we're dealing with in the first measure is, is a B flat chord with a quick E change to E flat. Then we have an F7 chord which is F A C E flat. Back to a B flat chord. Then we move to an E flat chord. flat chord back to E flat so how do you play all of this um, went over this F7 now this one B flat again in the left D B flat here and then D F here bass line stays the same left hand stays the same now we have the E flat chord we have E flat B flat E flat G and we have an E flat chord in the right hand and we pass through F and A real quickly uh, to get to the E flat chord again. And now we're back to your regular measure, uh, the measure that you have at the beginning. So see, if you can do measure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, if you can do measure 6, you can do measure 1, 2. Um, so those are three measures. If you can do that one, you have, a, you have a little bit of the song already learned. And then we have E flat again. there's that measure again so really you know if you learn just a few measures you can play uh, this entire song now we have F7 again now this is a stretch middle C and E flat in uh, measure 9 so instead of playing that with your right hand play it with your left hand Two, 
three. Now this might sound weird, it's the second to last measure. It's an E flat in the left hand, B flat in the right hand, but I think it sounds very cool. Okay, so I'm gonna play it a couple times, you try to play it with me, and then I'm gonna show you how to jazz it up a little bit. Now that's the traditional way of playing it, which is which is great. Learn the traditional way. And now um, we're gonna jazz it up a little bit. Um, if you haven't seen our video on how to get a kind of a jazzy sound, you can look at it right here and um, uh, for some more information, but I'll give you kind of the quick version right now. Um, basically, we're adding a major seventh to every chord. So we have a B flat chord at the beginning. A B flat chord is B, D, F or B flat D F. Now the seventh is this A because it's the seventh note away from B flat in the scale. Now when you add the major seventh it gives it kind of a jazzy little uh, sound. So instead of doing B flats in the uh, in the left hand we're gonna do B flat and A in the left hand and keep the right hand the same. See, it gives it kind of some tension and kind of kind of a jazzy quality. Now, so um, B flat chord, you add the you add an A. So, what do you do for an E flat chord? jazz this up? Well, you add the seventh to E flat. So we look at E flat and we add the seventh, which is actually a half step below an octave E flat. That's a shortcut, by the way. So you can add the D. So with, we're going to add Ds now. So I'm going to take um, the E flat here in my right hand, I'm going to move down to a D. So experiment with the major sevenths and you can really kind of uh, spice up the, uh, the Silent Night, make it sound uh, very cool. Now what do I do when I'm doing all this stuff, um, kind of filling in um, silent parts, I'm kind of filling in parts where the music doesn't move, like, uh... see there's, whole th there's three beats there that don't really move anywhere, so I kind of just play the notes that are in my uh, left hand or play some notes in my right hand that match the chord.
Now, um, also this is bass movement. If you ever move from a B flat to an E flat, like in uh, major four to major five, all you have to do is move the B flat, C, D, and you're ready to play E flat. Just move it on three beats. And then sometimes to uh, make the harmony move and make the left hand move, I'll take my left hand down an octave and just play, like if I'm in an E flat chord, I just played notes of the E flat chord. E flat, B flat, E flat, G, B flat. I could also do a seventh. Now, how do you spice up uh, like an F7? Well, because it already has the seventh. Well, you put in a nine. Okay, now how do you do a nine? Well, we have F, we have A, we have C, we have E flat as our seventh, eight, nine. So add a G to the F7 chord. So, uh, Okay, now if you want to do Silent Night via like uh, Jim Brickman or something kind of new age-ish, um, well, first of all, you got to figure out an intro. So maybe even like uh, take take the last uh, take the last two measures of the song and do it up an octave and uh, just kind of experiment with different rhythms and kind of not quite traditional rhythms and um, like kind of like this. Now I just made that up on the spot. Here's how you do it. You know the chord structure, so B flat. And you know the rhythm, you know the rhythm and you know the uh, melody really well. So you just um, 
you play a lot of eighth notes with uh, with the chord, and then and the notes that are in the scale next to the chord. And then you kind of mess with the rhythm just a little bit and kind of uh, do your own thing, improvise a little bit. Um, it's a it's a lot harder than it looks. Um, you know, if it looks hard, it, it, some of it's easy, some of it's hard. Um, it takes a lot of playing in that style, in the kind of the pop piano style, to get used to it. But then once you once you look at a regular sheet of music like you're looking at now, you can eventually improvise your own um, little pop piano uh, style. So just uh, just experiment with the rhythm between left hand and right hand. It's kind of a give and take. See, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not holding to the traditional uh, straightforward six eight. I'm just kind of experiment, holding some things more, and then going quick on some other things. Just experiment and see what you like. Um, experiment with the with the chords. Experiment with going. That's one thing you could do. You could just take the B flat chord. So all I did there was take the B flat chord, E flat chord, F7 chord, and just follow the music, you know, go, do a measure of B flat. Then F7. E flat. B flat. I'm just playing I'm just playing notes of the chords if I were to just block them it sound like this but instead of blocking them I'm just moving my fingers So try it, experiment. Um, you can get the traditional Silent Night at Visionaires.org. The link is in the description. Uh, please subscribe. This is going. Uh, this is one of twelve songs that we'll be going through uh, for the Christmas season. And uh, uh, this was Silent Night. You have you have the traditional one. Then you have the uh, jazzy. Add the major seventh. And then you have the kind of pop piano. All right, I hope, uh, I hope you guys learned something. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Or if you have any comments, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, I'll see you next time for our next Christmas song.